Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to um, begin by just thanking the organizers, um, CCG, for inviting me to this uh, today's roundtable um, with such distinguished uh, fellow panelists. It's really uh, very, very good to be here, and um, I'm sure that my brain um, will be extremely stimulated by um, the discussion. I also wanted to uh, mention that I'm, I'm one of the 10 or 11 or 15,000 people who downloaded, downloaded um, Ambassador Mabubani's um, book. And I had a chance to read much of it um, before the event today. I, I also did not have a chance to get through all of it, but I did read uh, many of the essays and I, I found them um, very compelling, um, bold, insightful, um, and, and nuanced at the same time. And I, I think that um, the, 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 the portions that I, I found most interesting, uh, perhaps because of my own uh, research interests and, and orientation, are those um, related to, to culture and the culture, especially of the United States, China and India, um, some of the other the, the major players um, in, in the uh, scenarios that are discussed in the ambassador's um, book. Um, one of the things that I wanted to well, that got me thinking about the role of culture a bit. And um, one of the things I wanted to, to bring up today is that we as um, you know, researchers, professors, analysts, commentators, and so forth, are essentially, in some sense, reductionists. We take very, very chaotic, confusing um, reality, and we try to simplify it. We try to um, we try to, to develop models um, to, to explain how things are going. Um, essentially, we're looking for patterns and then we try to document those patterns and, and describe and, and ultimately perhaps predict. Um, and that's what people, my, my own training is in statistics. So that's what we do in statistics, but we usually have lots and lots of data or we wish we did. Um, and, um, and then um, of course, in the world of finance and economics, uh, which is what I study, um, we, we try to have uh, extensive data. We don't always have what we want, but we, we, we try to. Um, and then people run, run the data through uh, computers, through regression models, and they come out with forecasts. Well, in some areas such as um, global affairs, it, it's more difficult. Um, the, the, the various items of study are not easily quantified. Um, and so my, my own thinking in, um, in approaching the, these matters as I have um, living here in China over the past few years, and especially um, considering the, the China-United States relationship, is that much, much um, of what goes on has to do with fundamental uh, differences in culture and also the changes in culture that are taking places in the different countries. So... For example, rather than um, trying to describe the relationship between uh, China and the United States in terms of a Thucydides trap or trying to um, analyze China's um, economic development um, in terms of something like the, the middle income trap um, or you know, the Belt and Road Initiative in terms of the debt trap, um, where we, we see these patterns, but they, they're often based on on very scanty data, and um, and there is intuition, but um, there is not that that much to go on. There, there are good counter arguments um, that can be applied. Um, I tend to think that that maybe um, a a more robust, um, uh, a, a more a, a more pr a better predictor of what is likely to happen in the future, the constraints on the various countries, um, what is pushing them in certain directions and pulling them in others, um, come more from what's going on internally than from patterns that we might observe with very small sample sets among uh, the countries in the world. So, um, I, I, and that's, that, that's what intrigued me. There, there are many comments in the ambassador's book along these lines about uh, the, the different societies um, involved. And especially um, I was intrigued by India because I know less about, much less about India than I do about China and the United States. Um, so if, we're, if taking this, this sort of approach, um, I first you know, would think about the United States and what is the United States uh, national identity? 
Um, what is the national myth or the national uh, story of the United States? And I, I jotted down a few words um, um, rather than re reading it out in some paragraph form. Uh, new world, freedom, democracy, checks and balances, frontier, work ethic, ingenuity, melting pot, social mobility, and of course, more recently, superpower. Um, and this is, this, is, this is the language that I was brought up with, and I imagine David also uh, was brought up with similar ideas in the United States. Um, but this is undergoing change. Uh, the, this, this, this national story um, has been, been, been under attack. It's been shipped away over the past 50 or 60 years um, without really a replacement. So the, the, the story that's there is sort of still there. It's just kind of degrading without, without rejuvenation. And um, what we see is now, you know, a few years ago with, with the election of President Trump, we see a reaction to that. Uh, people saying, well, the story was fine. Why did you, why did you mess with it? Uh, now we've got to reassert ourselves, And that can be, that can be very um, disturbing. Um, then I, I was thinking, you know, alternatively, what, what about China? And um, some of the words I jotted down for China are ancient civilization. And of course, I'm, I'm saying these in English, and these are my understanding. I'm not a uh, fluent speaker of Chinese. Um, ancient civilization, the new China, socialism with Chinese characteristics, mutual assistance, economic reform and opening up, common prosperity, um, respect for other systems or peaceful co coexistence. Um, I think that these are all, you know, part of the, the, the national story of China at the moment. And um, if I were to identify a real fundamental difference, it may not be so much in terms of the words of the story, but in the fact that China is reaping the benefit of, of a very clearly enunciated and updated story, which comes from the continuity the economic success of its system of government. Whereas the United States story has suffered as a result of the adversarial system in its, um, in its political house. Um, and it, one could turn to India, and again, I'm, I'm much less informed about that, but I, just, I know that there, there have been changes in the, the national story of India as well. Looking back from 1947, um, the what tryst with destiny speech of Prime Minister Nehru to today the the um, Hinduness principle, which is embraced by uh, Prime Minister Modi and and his um, supporters, uh, there has been a change there as well. Um, so I and how how is that changing? Actually, looking at India, it seems to me superficially at least that maybe that story is actually being rewritten. Whereas in the United States, we're just People don't like the old story, but they're not rewriting it in any way. So all three of these countries have a very different situation. And I think that that plays a, a major role in what they're able to do, what they want to do, um, you know, what, what, um, what, for example, the United States will do with respect to China and trying to control China. Um, David, David mentioned this. Uh, certainly, there are many, many people in the United States that would like to see China, China's power contained. But at the same time, I think that there is so much going on domestically that I really don't, um, I really don't foresee uh, the, the same kind of effort being put into that that was put into previous efforts of containment, you know, go back, going back to the Cold War and before. So I guess I'll end here, but my question uh, for the ambassador is, uh, what, is the, what is the role of culture um, in your mind and, um, and is, uh, you know, how, how, are, how are the cultural differences, not just among these three major nations I mentioned, but the other nations that are in uh, the um, RCEP, how are they um, playing a role in its future and, and the Asian 21st century? Thank you.